Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson. The Dennis J. Becker American Legion Post 205 is holding an oyster roast to raise money for their mm -hmm. building fund, which supports mm -hmm. our local veterans. And here to tell us more about the event and the fund, First Vice Commander Robert Brother Kitty and Member Roy Austin. Welcome. Thank, welcome. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having us again. I should say welcome back. You're welcome back, yeah. Come on so, every year. So let's talk about the event. All right. Mr. Well, the, the event's going to be a, an oyster roast on March 14th. Uh, it'll be at Pepper's. And Pepper's Porch and Bluffton. Pepper's Porch. Yeah, well, formerly, formerly Pepper's Formerly Porch. Pepper's Oh, okay. Porch. So now it's called Pepper's and Bluffton. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, it's gone through some transition. Right. The, one of the former owners has bought it back and okay. is restoring it, and it is... It's really turned into a fabulous place. They got a great chef who does a, an amazing job. So. Good. Good food. Too. So good. Yeah. And um, so that's on the 14th. Is it all day long? Uh, five o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Or six. Around, around five. Between five and six. Six. Yeah. Because they have another veteran mm -hmm. event. They are honoring uh, some Vietnam, okay. some Vietnam veterans earlier that day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's going to be pretty much a full veteran day. It's and a it's full gonna, veteran it's gonna, day. Yeah. The day is going to culminate mm -hmm. with us having our oh, oyster rolls. And um, so let's talk about um, who the pr proceeds will support. Well, we're trying to raise money so that we can have a permanent home for the post. Okay. Uh, we right now we meet at a restaurant. But we can't really support a lot of the activities in the community without having a permanent home. Okay. And, you know, Brother kind of recruited me into the American Legion, and uh, he's one of my very dearest friends. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that impressed me the most was that this post is the only integrated post in this the area. First. In fact, it's the first the integrated first. post in South Carolina. And there are several other posts here, but sadly, they are segregated. Mm. You know, segregation went out a long time ago. Right. It's, I, I would love to see these other posts get into the modern world right. and uh, get, get with the program, yeah. so to it's speak. It's very important, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So um, who should we contact for information and tickets? Uh, you can contact myself. My phone number is 843-227-0632. And um, you can also go on the, on the website where you can reach our adjutant, Mike Miranda, at AmericanLeadingPost205.com. Uh, right. uh, and Mike's been on before. So. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, he's been on before. And our commander, uh, uh, Bob Sterling, you can, you can contact either one of those guys yeah. through the website. And we'll have all that information mm -hmm. on the screen. So yes. who is Dennis J. Becker? Well, Dennis J. Becker is our first commander. He, he and Mike Miranda got together and they started the post. Dennis was, was actually a Marine. He was born in Chicago and um, he, he uh, served from, in the Marine Corps from 1960 to 1964. So he moved to this area around, two, around 04. And then he and Mike Miranda got together, and Bob Sterling, they, they met, and they wanted to form this post, and this post became uh, American Legion Post 205. Uh, Dennis left us, went on up to heaven for his final inspection. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so we, we wanted to honor him and name the post, you know, After in him. his name, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, so yeah. it's the Dennis J. Becker American Legion Post 205. Yeah, in his very honor. nice. He was, he was a very good commander. Our new commander now is Bob Sterling. is doing every bit of a, a really, really good job also. Yeah, that's so. awesome. So. Um, Obviously, you're trying to get a, a, a housing post, mm -hmm. which that yes. mm -hmm. obviously makes a lot of sense. But what right. exactly does the American Legion do for the local veterans? Well, mm -hmm. what, what we do is uh, we our sole purpose is just to raise money for guys, you know, who are, who are not as fortunate as ourselves. That's what we do all over the country. Um, it's, it started in 1919 by Teddy Roosevelt Jr. And um, <clears throat> our sole purpose is just to raise money, you know, do functions. Uh, we we um, <clears throat> we support the the ROTC at Bluffton High, mm -hmm. and those are a wonderful group of kids. Those are our future mm -hmm. leaders and our future veterans. They are. And every time we have a function, we invite them in, and they come mm -hmm. in. They do the cleaning, and you know we, we feed them, and we, it's just good to have those kids around. You know, Absolutely. so I mean, we were once there at one time. Yes, so it's, we it's, were. Yeah. Yes, we were. <laughs> but it is it is great. It yeah, they're doing a great job over there at ROTC. Yeah, and we give scholarships every year. So <laughs> our purpose is just to donate money. You know, and um, we have several pet peeves. Our first pet peeve was the um, Wounded Warrior Project, which we donated money to. Our new pet peeve is going to be uh, uh, Fisher House, which, like, if, if you have a veteran that has to come from afar 
and his family has to stay overnight. Instead of staying in a hotel, you stay in right. the Fisher House, free of charge. You know, there's like a kitchenette there, bathrooms, right. nice clean rooms and stuff. Right. So they won't have to pay any money. That's wonderful. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> quickly, are you working on any other pro programs right now? Uh, well, the, the scholarship fund and the building fund. See, once we get a building fund, once we get a place that could, we could call mm -hmm. our own, then we can raise even more money. We can mm -hmm. do even more for the community mm -hmm. and for yeah. other veterans who are less fortunate than mm -hmm. us. You know, yeah. guys that might need ramps or you know, wheelchairs. Right. Like right now, I want to put out that there's a wheelchair that we have that a veteran that passed on, his family wants to donate this wheelchair. Yeah, that's So if wonderful. anybody out there that mm -hmm. knows a veteran that needs a wheelchair, we will, the American Legion Post will donate it to you free of charge. It wouldn't cost you anything. So that's wonderful. That's, that's what, what you're like doing is wonderful. Thank you, gentlemen, for being on. Mm -hmm. We'll see you March 14th Thank at the Oyster Road. Thank you. We'll see you yes. next year. Okay. Thanks, All right. <laughs> we'll be right back with Talk of the Town. Mm -hmm.